The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows The Blessed Virgin Mary was given the title Our Lady of Sorrows. The principal biblical references to Mary's sorrows are in Luke 2 verse 35 and John 19 verses 26 to 27. The Lucan passage is Simeon's prediction about the sword piercing Mary's soul. The Johannine passage relates Jesus' words from the cross to Mary and to the beloved disciple. The title, Our Lady of Sorrows, given to our Blessed Mother, focuses on her intense suffering and grief, especially during the passion and death of our Lord. Mary is sometimes depicted with her heart exposed and with seven swords piercing it. The Seven Sorrows of Mary 1. Prophecy of Simeon 2. The flight into Egypt 3. Loss of the child Jesus for three days 4. Mary meets Jesus on his way to Calvary 5. Crucifixion and death of Jesus 6. The body of Jesus being taken from the cross. 7. The burial of Jesus. Mary received each of her suffering with courage, love, and trust in God. This feast dates back to the 12th century. It was specially promoted by the Cistercians and the Servites. So much so that in the 14th and 15th centuries, it was widely celebrated throughout the Catholic Church. In 1668, the feast in honor of the Seven Sorrows was set for the Sunday after September 14, the Feast of the Holy Cross. The feast was inserted into the Roman calendar in 1814, and Pope Pius X fixed the permanent date of September 15 for the Feast of the Seven Sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, now simply called the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Focusing on the compassion of our Blessed Mother, our Holy Father Pope John Paul II reminded the faithful, Mary Most Holy goes on being the loving consoler of those touched by many physical and moral sorrows which afflict and torment humanity. She knows our sorrows and our pains because she too suffered from Bethlehem to Calvary.